Number seven, we don't need to understand God completely or even marginally or even at all. I mean, I think as some uh, places that I've been a part of or, or ways that I've thought is, well, yeah, no, nobody understands God completely. But we've at least got to understand this and this and this and this and that. You don't need to understand God completely or marginally or even at all. It's okay. And why? Because, number eight, the gospel is not a message of what we must do, but of what God has done for us. There's good reason to come to church. You'll live longer if you come to church. <laughs> we all need community. We all need community. There's good reason to pray. There's good reason to read your Bible, to learn from those who've gone before us and read other things, other literary masterpieces or other whatever. God reveals himself in many different places. There's good reason to do that. There's good reason to think about what you believe. What you believe about God and the world and yourself is going to make a difference in your life. It's going to affect how you live, how you look at yourself and how you look at others. Believe that God loves you. It will make a difference. But if you're doing any of that because you think somehow God is going to be pleased with me or somehow I'm going to earn God's favor or whatever, then quit coming to church. Quit reading your Bible. Quit praying. Quit doing anything that somehow makes you think, Ah, God is going to be pleased with me. You don't need to do it. The message of the gospel is not what we must do, but what God has done for us. It will set you free. Number nine. To the question, what is faith? I don't know is an okay answer. In fact, maybe it's the best place to start. 